Welcome to episode five of the Truth Seekers podcast. I was about to say my podcast, but I guess I'm the only one here. So, <laughs> anyways, welcome to episode five. I've uh, done a few of these so far, and they feel pretty good. Um, you know, getting better as it goes along. But I, uh, it's a very important avenue for sharing thoughts and feelings and everything going on. I have a lot to say and. Hopefully, uh, some of you out there would like to hear it. Anyways, um, when I first started doing these, you know, the hat, the glasses, the kind of incognito-ness, I guess, of the character maybe I'm trying to portray here. Someone who's a radical, someone who's on the outside. Well, probably am a radical, probably am on the outside, but... Clothes, glasses, hats, whatever, don't make the person. It's what's in here that does. And so I've been going over it a lot in my head, talking to friends and family, seeing other people who are successful and seeing what they do. So, you know, I think I'm going to take this off for a minute. Let you see my face, my eyes, let you know that I'm real. I'm a real person sharing some real issues. Whether I wear a hat, whether I wear glasses doesn't mean that I don't care any less about this country. Just because I have an upside down flag behind me doesn't mean I care any less about this country. Just because I have a Palestinian and Israeli flag behind me doesn't mean I favor either side over the other one. Both sides, obviously, you know, deserve to live in peace, just like everyone else. And uh, feels good. Feels good. Because we are certainly at a crossroads in this country. Certainly at a crossroads. All the divisions that have been bubbling up for years, you know, that went through after the slaves got freed, civil rights, Jim Crow... All this stuff for years and years and years. Gotten a little better since then, I suppose. I mean, there's no separate bathrooms, no separate businesses, which, thank God, is good. I mean, hell, only 70, what, 75 years ago, because they keep talking about the 75th anniversary of World War II ending... I don't think any war was harder on the Jewish people or any people than the Jews in World War II. So all of this is basically just being being real with yourself, being plain with yourself, being honest with yourself, being honest with people. I want to I want to create great change in this world, as I'm sure many of us do. But there is a passion. There is a direct passion I've had for a long time to not just go along with the status quo. To not just fall in line and become another cog in the machine. To be my own person. To be an individual. While at the same time, you know, realizing the importance of the group. We are social beings. We do need people around. I, as anybody else, is probably getting a bit lonely these days because of not having many people around, but some of us have bigger families. Some of us have significant others, children, stuff like that. So those of us who don't have any of those things are sit kind of by ourselves, which is fine, giving me plenty of time to do a lot of work that I'd like to do. These videos, my books, which are almost done. The last book in the Truth Seeker series, A Better Day, should hopefully be out in a few months. The collection of my 2019 Mind of Critic writings should also be out, uh, well, by the fall, like usual, late fall probably, September, hopefully. 
so doing well with that. And I think there's probably a lot of people that are doing better than, than it seems or better than they think. A lot of times, you know, the grass is always greener. Our self-confidence lags. We go down a rabbit hole that we don't want to go down even though we know we're doing it at the time we're doing it. But we do it anyways because... The other way seems like it takes more effort. Well, let me tell you, that effort is worth it. I mean, there's a reason why they say everything good takes time or everything great requires great effort, or I'm probably messing this up, but you know what? I don't care. The point is, is that anything worth it takes effort. Maybe that's it. Maybe. <laughs> but... And so we have to ask ourselves what we really want. What do we as a country want? What do we as a human species in the world want? Not talking about world citizenship, although that's kind of an interesting idea, but with separate countries, I don't really know what it's trying to accomplish. It gets people more aware of Global issues, global warming, global global economic uh, warfare by the top one-tenth of one percent all around the world. Destroying resources, destroying cultures. There's that. But I'd like to talk the power I like to uh, talk about the power of people, of us. We have tremendous power. California here has direct democracy, which has always been kind of nice. Anybody who feels strongly enough about a certain issue can gather a few hundred thousand signatures, get a measure on the ballot, and then people vote on it. If it succeeds, it's law. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Maybe something like that on the federal level would be good. But... I guess what I can say is, is there's not much, there's all generations, all times, it's always been important for people to be cognizant of what's going on, to pay attention. Now, I know a lot of us are blinded by the, you know, 24-7 onslaught of news information and bullshit just kind of rambling about there. So we turn off and turn, tune out and drop in or whatever. And uh, then the game that we complain about that we know is there. It's the whole reason we're ignoring it. Basically deepens its power. Because we turned off. We didn't care. We didn't. We were too apathetic. Maybe we were too comfortable. Which is probably why many of us are, you know, allowed negativity into our lives in many different ways. Aspects, events, issues, whatever. That negativity could certainly bring us down. And has brought us to the point we're at. Look at who we have in the White House. I'm not saying that he's the, you know, end-all, be-all Antichrist, because he's not. He, just like the great politicians, nobody fell out of the sky. They were created by us. I mean, how many, of, how many people knew that Donald Trump was a douchebag before he came into office, and now all of a sudden, they're surprised being like, why is he a douchebag? Well... If you paid attention to anything he's done in the last, I don't know, 40 years, maybe you'd know that. But just in case, you know, I know it's hard and we de definitely don't want to get upset or should I say obsessed with everything going on. We need to take care of our families. We need to do the good things that make life worth living. 
We have responsibilities, jobs, mortgages, kids. So we can't forget that stuff. But at the same time, everything is raw right now. It's out in the open. We have the opportunity to create all the change we've been seeking. All of it. All of it is out in the open. All of it is now. And if we choose to ignore it, there's a reason ignorance, you know, is the long form of ignore. It's kind of like we're ignoring a whole culture of people or ignoring something that we know to be true, that we're not willing to admit to ourselves. <sighs> but we can't ignore anymore. It deepens their power. We say, oh, well, they're getting away with all this stuff. We can't possibly stop it. So let's just shut up and, you know, go down the street and be happy with our bread and circuses. So, so we never, you know, get bothered. They can do what they want as long as I get what I want. That's how we've gotten into such a deep hole. That's how we have, you know, a growing number of billionaires every year with offshore tax havens that steal tax money away from the American people. So the programs that we need to survive, health care, help for poor people, unions, you know, all the stuff this country used to be about that we do have plenty of money for, those people would finally be paying their fair share. I don't think there's anybody on either side of the aisle that would disagree with that. We might disagree on the programs that are introduced, but I don't think any of us would disagree on the rich getting richer. I mean, that's how we bring people together, right? To unify? Show them how we're all getting fucked over? Well, we are all getting fucked over. Hear that. Look into my eyes and you know it's true. Is there an answer? Probably. Will we find it? Not yet. And who knows if there is an answer. There's probably many answers because many battles and many wars and many umpteenth umpteenth things. And see, this is another thing that can get us off spinning into the uh, oblivion. Get us to take no action because we think there's too many actions to get taken so anything we do doesn't matter so doing nothing doesn't matter either that's not right another thing that's caused us to get into the mess we're in so how do we dig ourselves out how do we stop ignoring what's important so we can grasp onto what is well first of all we love each other as always we love ourselves we have to love ourselves before we can have others treat us like we'd like to be treated. Because if we don't treat ourselves how we want to be treated, how can we expect somebody else to? It's these personal relationships, these personal things, even with people we don't agree with, that will get us to unify. They'll see how, oh, human issues are human issues. We all go through the same shit. We all go through the same battles. I mean, 90 some percent of the entire country makes under $200,000 a year. There's a reason why a lot of us feel like somebody who makes 60 to 70 grand a year in our society nowadays is rich. They're not. So many people I know see someone that makes that kind of money as rich. And they're not. They're really not. They're middle class, or at least that's what middle class used to be. The true sign of a strong economy in a country that gives a shit about its people. So, hmm, a lot of stuff out there. A lot of things to talk about. In the coming weeks, I'll be talking about some historical figures I like. Uh, some historical freedom fighters, in, in particular, John Brown, always been my favorite. I'll probably talk about him next time. And 
If there's any parting words to be said, they have to be, again, love yourself. Love others. Treat others fairly, kindly, because we're treating ourselves fairly and kindly. Remember that we're all human. And then at the end of the day, all the bullshit that keeps us from uniting doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. I mean, I guess in the end, nothing matters. But here's, here's your homework assignment, okay? Go and have a conversation with somebody you disagree with. Someone you're afraid to talk to even. Because, oh, I don't want to hear them going off about that thing. Well, nobody likes to hear somebody going off about something they don't agree with. But sometimes we have to, to get to the deeper human issue of what we're wanting to get to anyway. And before long, we'll see that we start off at this human issue. And yeah, people rant and rave and everything from time to time. It's probably a normal human emotion as far as that's concerned. But we'll see that people start to come around. You know, po political class, political parties, none of that shit matters. The only, only thing that does is what's in here. Because it informs what's in here. And it should help project everything we put out there. Well, spread the love, love each other, give each other hugs when you can. I know that's a thing right now. But just be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And know that while we may discuss a lot of political and historical subjects, sports too even, um, from many different perspectives, many different angles, events, and everything that happens, just remember that we're all getting back to the same basic place where we're all trying to get. A lot of us have much more in common than we don't. Once we start realizing that, we'll see a lot of these problems fall by the wayside. And the love and gratitude that we've ingrained in ourselves won't let us fall into that rabbit hole again. More than likely, it'll fill up the rabbit hole where rabbit holes will no longer be needed instead of just straight, flat truth. Not everybody perceives it differently, but we can't have our own facts. There's human truths. We're all breathing. We were all born in some way. And we're all here now. Whatever's happened in the past, we shouldn't let, we should let it go, but not forget. And the difference is, is we learn the lessons that they had to teach so we don't have to learn them again. And we'll see, once we do, a lot of the bullshit will stop happening. A lot of the stupid stuff, the shootings, the, you know, the terrorist attacks, a lot of this shit will stop happening. Why? Humanity will once again have regained control of the earth like it was always meant to. I love you all. We'll talk soon. Remember to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button. Links for all my social media, my website, and where to buy my books are in the description below. Love and gratitude will find a way. We just have to keep the conversations going. See you all soon.